nice to meet you. I need to do a disclaimer over here. I'm going to be my uh, my evil twin. I'm going to pretend I'm a venture capitalist who's uh, who you're pitching for money, and I'm going to rip your heads off. Which is that's what my job is. So I'm apologizing in advance. Normally I love entrepreneurs, but here I love money, and that's what this is all about. Tell me why I should believe in you. Why why you know why do I why should I believe that you have a technology that really indeed can can solve such a big problem? Why hasn't someone else done this before? Why do you care? Well, you should care because we could make you hundreds of millions of dollars, potentially even a billion dollars, in a relatively short time, three years for a hardware company. Well, if it's so great, why haven't the billion dollar uh, oil companies done this? Why are a bunch of uh, kids in the middle of nowhere claiming to be able to solve yeah. this big problem? There aren't really that many innovations in optics that come around that often. So our cameras, are based on truly revolutionary optics. So our technology, our specific type Sorry, of technology. I don't believe you. Everyone says that their stuff is revolution, this revolution, that's complete nonsense. Tell me why it works. Tell me why I should believe you. I don't believe you right now. Well, I also think it's a convergence of technology too. I don't think that all of the different technology components existed even 10 years ago. It's more than that. So now you're talking. If you, tell, by the, if you had started off by telling me that, look, you're using sensors, you're using cameras, you're using software in a new way, and you happen to be uh, knowledgeable about the oil and gas industry, you would have built credibility. But you started out by throwing out big buzzwords, just revolution, this revolution, that. I mean, a bunch of young and inexperienced people coming to these old line oil executives and saying that I can save you billions of dollars. I don't believe you. Why should I believe you? Is that the best you've got? You're attacking our age? Oh, honey, I've been getting that for years. That's nothing. Last year, I brought in $1.2 million just through bootstrapping. We may look young, but we are very savvy entrepreneurs, and we have bootstrapped it to this point, and now we have a product that really is poised to answer a very large problem. Why did you pick this industry of all the industries? Most hyperspectral companies, almost all actually, are in defense. So defense would have been the obvious application for our technology. We chose oil and gas, and there hasn't been new technology in this market. And I am not kidding, over 30 years. If, if I called up your top customer right now, what would he or she say about your technology? Well, and for instance, with one of the, the installations we have right now, the operators have come up to the people and said, hey, what does this thing do? And when we tell them, they're like, when can we get our hands on it? And even in the refining industry, which has very tight margins, they've always said, hey, this thing, we will find the money for it. We will install these things. This is a great idea. It's a great product. Frankly, venture capitalists don't go into industries like this. There may be some VCs who specialize in oil and gas, but the vast majority don't, and they're going to waste a lot of your time asking you dumb questions. So your best strategy, frankly, is to go and pre-sell your technology. If the customer does indeed believe in you and if you do provide this kind of saving, they'll invest in it. Uh, I think in my experience in oil and gas, that's not actually true. Um, not at our stage. We have been approached by some customers and then, let's say, potential acquirers to invest in us. We've even gotten term sheets. But we've always had to say no, because when you look at the fine print, it's usually awful. And there's one clause in particular I really don't like, which is first right of refusal. You'll find that customers tend to be a lot more reasonable than, than venture capitalists or the, or the VC arms that these companies are. So just keep focusing on them. With them, you can negotiate, you can give them upside, you can solve their problems, and they'll invest in you. That's, you know, that's the best way of doing it. By the way, I'll put my good hat on. I, I'm really impressed with what you're doing. You're doing it the right way. The fact that you've been able to bootstrap this far and now have real revenue is great. You know, uh, and I love the fact that we have a woman, a woman in charge instead of the, the, the guy just, to, just because you're trying to keep some VCs happy. Good luck. Oh, thanks. Thank you.